The recent visit of Chief Minister N. Biren Singh brought a series of good news for the people of Chandel district this week. The inauguration of various projects has led to a wave of happiness among the locals, a report. To bring in development in the state, Manipur government has been taking various initiatives, especially for the hilly areas of Manipur. The state government has recently urged the centre to introduce a topographical need-based budget for Manipur. Recently, Tamlong district was selected out of 82 districts for development of hill districts in the country and a sum of 90 crore rupees was sanctioned for development of the districts. The sanction was announced during a function organised by Chandel District Administration at Jhapau Bazar where Singh inaugurated a series of projects including drinking water revival scheme, boys hostel of Maha Union Higher Secondary School, newly constructed district's women's market and boys hostel of Lorong High School. <laughs> The function held at Jhapau Bazaar was glorified by the presence of various dignitaries, including State Education Minister T.H. Radhishyam Singh, CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam, and Water Resources Minister Lethpal Haukip. The gathering at the function was enlightened by the words of various speakers who shared their experiences and plans for the development of the state. Hoi yam pae mana kwe sandin se hana di minister na su bide hoje te kwe si minister beren la kwe se yam hara oe kwe na sandin su mana he la gara ka kwe bide yeng bie nga wad pa dum yeng bie. Addressing the gathering, Minister of PWD IPR T.H. Biswajit recalled the remarkable amount of development that has been brought by the present government. He said that their sense of doing politics is to serve the people of the state and to bring development, peace and harmony in the state. The Minister of PWD also reassured people of various development projects that would be initiated this year. As India's Northeast is made up of vibrant stories from history about legendary freedom fighters, the Chief Minister announced that six small islands of Andaman and Nicobar are likely to be named after six freedom fighters of Manipur, including two Nagas who were exiled there after Anglo-Manipur War of 1891. The function not only brought old and new projects to table, but also conveyed the rich cultural history of Manipur.